Hey, guys. I'm just relaxing in the garage with uh, good boy Blitzen and uh, thinking about my day, <laughs> thinking about my life, <laughs> thinking about my tractor and my ham radio hobby. And I want to show you something. Hang on. Come on, Blitzy. We got something to show the guys. Let's go show the boys something. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so you notice Lucy's gone. A little explanation. Why I haven't been posting many videos lately. Because I feel a disconnect with my hobby. And my channels mostly become ham radio related. Um, started out intending it to be only on restorations, um, vintage broadcast band radio restorations. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it evolved into the landfill that it is today. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. The reason the FCC hasn't renewed my license is because of a nightmare. A nightmare and I'm not gonna say anything else from this point forth about ham radio or my license renewal or anything related to ham radio probably until the FCC takes action right um, and I take counter action so, you will notice that the Michigan cacti <laughs> is laying in a heap. I was going to mount the sub... I took it down to measure it for uh, a few guys. And um, I figured, well, I'll mount a 17-meter scab radiator to it permanently. Put it back up. <clears throat> as a five-band vertical. Well, I got discouraged. And then I started experiencing a disconnect from the hobby because after having the TIA that I did, I do that now. And maybe it's a, a result of the Paxil and the uh, Lamictal I take. I don't know. It is what it is. I've learned to accept my various emotional states as long as they're not unhealthy physically for me or anybody else we need to be accepting of ourselves and less critical we're all very unique people we humans thank God <laughs> Blozo's recommendation accept your uniqueness your unique qualities my neighbor, Jim, behind me, is getting a new roof, and he took his antenna tower down and gave it to me. It's only 20 feet long, but it makes the fine bottom section of a 40-meter uh, vertical, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> so my uh, Michigan cacti... remains at rest. Boy, this is hard to zoom in. <laughs> oh. um, I've still got my 80 meter end fed blunder wire. <laughs> it used to drop down vertically, right? And then the end was tied to a, a rope and then I had the rope tied off at the tree, at the fence post, uh, the fence rail. But the branches kept breaking off and that end kept dropping down farther and farther until the end of the radiating wire touched the fence post. At which point, I now ran it diagonally down to the shed. <laughs> I'm going to, um, if, the, if my license gets renewed, I'm going to throw a line over that tall tree right there. And so, you know... I've got my inverted V in the trees for 40, and I've got one for 30 meters. There's one leg of one. There's the other leg of another. So, 
Um, just thought uh, I might mention why I haven't been doing ham radio videos lately. <clears throat> it's because I'm discouraged. Right? You want to see something funny? Look at these crazy divots. See them? They're everywhere. Uh, watch me not be able to find any now. There's another one. Uh, let's look around. <laughs> oh, baby boy, man. He, uh, oh, there is a bunch of them out here. <laughs> and uh, when he starts kicking with his hind legs, he'll throw divots all the way over to there. <laughs> he's a... He's my blitzinator. Blitzy. Hey, Blitzy. See a squirrel? Squirrels. I shouldn't do that. Squirrel's gone. He's gone, Blitzy. Come on. Anyway, man. My next video is going to be another Dear John video. <clears throat> I've made some great improvements to that tractor that I think are worthy of sharing with the other, any other John Deere collectors, owners, enthusiasts, whatever. And, uh, yeah, very handy uh, modifications I made to that machine. So, anyway, I hope all are well. After the next video, after this Dear John video, Oh, man, isn't she pretty? After this Dear John video, I am going to do another longer radio restoration video series on the Heath Kit HR-10B receiver and DX-60A transmitter and HG-10 VFO. I am going to do that. I'm going to shift to <clears throat> restoration videos for the time being. Why? Because I miss doing videos, man. I'm starting to come to terms with things regardless of what the government decides to do because 99.5% probably of my operating is listening and <clears throat> amateur radio isn't the only fun an HF enthusiast can have <clears throat> that far from it so especially as we slide up the solar cycle isn't that right, Blitzy? Yeah, so... Anyway. I've come to terms with things, as it is. As it were. And, uh... <laughs> right now, I'm having a lot of fun with Jed. His name is Jed. And, uh... It might seem boring to you, but it's better than living in the past. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, you know, <laughs> girls, 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 <laughs> my motorcycle and a switchblade knife, girls, 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 dun, 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 dun. you know what I mean? Those are young man's toys. This is the toy of an old fart. I hope all are well. Just a babble vid. Just a babble vid. Isn't that right, Blitzy? You hear? Who's out there? Who's out there, Blitzy? <laughs> Who's out there? Come on, Blitzy. Good boy. <laughs> See what kind of dad I am. Good boy. Got him pissed off at the neighbors and I am giving him his good boys.
boy is he, <laughs> boy is he a touchy one. When he adopted Kyle and I, I kind of knew what to expect because I lived with an Aussie, Aussie Shepherd for a year and a half. And I named Abby. I knew what to expect, kind of. Oh, I didn't know how protective of his backyard. Oof. He's a touchy one. When you take him on a walk, you got to be on your toes. <laughs> if he sees a cat or a squirrel, he's going to jerk your freaking arm off. you got to be on your toes, man. Come on, Blitzy. Come on, it's okay. Come on, Blitz. Anyway, man, my ham hobby. Well, it's on suspen It's in suspension right now, but uh, doesn't stop me from restoring Heath kits, and that's my next plan. A video about the modifications I made to Jed, and then on to the Heath kits from Blitzy. Kyle and Blozo and I let's take a step back let's take a step back 73 guys take care massive and expensive equipment marks the professional radio station but in the amateur field, radio parts often include pieces of assorted junk ingeniously assembled by operators who are called hams and who take up broadcasting as a hobby. Cards to prove long-distance contacts are exchanged by the hams and proudly displayed.